In SOLIDWORKS 2014, we introduced a new lofted bend method that created real bends as opposed to the approximated bends that were created using the formed method. But this new capability was limited to lofted bends with parallel sketch lines. But a hopper like this often requires non-parallel sketch planes. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2015, this parallel requirement has been removed. Accurate bend information can now be created, and of course, the model can be flattened for fabrication. Let's jump ahead in the design of this hopper. Notice that this part has some gussets to stiffen the flanges. These gussets are created after the flanges are bent, but users still want to see their position and the flattened state as well. Two new options have been added to show the profile and the center of the gussets in the flattened state. When creating sketch bends, there's now a preview of the bend during creation. This makes it much easier to be sure of the direction of the bend and the bend angle. Sheet metal parts often require the use of PEM fasteners but looking up the proper hole sizes can be time consuming. The hole wizard in SOLIDWORKS 2015 now supports PEM standards for sizing the holes corresponding to the fasteners. Choose the standard, filter by fastener, and then by type. Select the size and you have a properly sized hole for a PEM fastener without having to look it up in the catalog. A real time saver. Finally, when creating mirrored versions of sheet metal parts, it's now possible to transfer the sheet metal and flat pattern information from the original part to the mirrored part. This information includes flat pattern geometry, fixed face, grain direction, faces to exclude, bend lines and bend parameters, sketch transformations, and forming tool information. All this information is critical when documenting the mirrored part on a drawing.